Hey guys, have you ever wondered why Christians sin and why some eventually leave the faith? Today I'm gonna give you three reasons why it happens and how you can avoid them. Stick around, we're gonna get right into it. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Ted Shuttlesworth Jr. I'm giving you truth for life. Thanks so much for watching again this week. If you like my channel and you enjoy these videos, I want you to subscribe. I have new videos coming out for you every single Tuesday. So today we wanna to ask the question, why do Christians sin? And I wanna show you that it's very important to understand that we as human beings are made up of three parts. We have a body that we can see in the mirror. We have a soul, which is our mind, our will, and our emotions. And then we have a spirit, and that is the part of us that is recreated at the moment of salvation. And even though that part of us is recreated and made new by Jesus Christ, the Bible says that our natural man or our flesh remains carnal for the rest of our life. And in fact, the Bible says in Galatians chapter five and verse 17, that our flesh is constantly at war with our spirit. So there's this struggle that constantly goes on in our lives between doing what we know we should do and doing what our flesh wants to do. In fact, the Apostle Paul said it this way, there's a war going on in my members and I want to do what is right, but I find myself not doing what's pleasing unto God. So we need to understand and be able to react properly to this struggle that's going on between our spirit and our flesh. And today I wanna to show you three things very quickly that will help you to win that battle of temptation and do what God wants you to do, not what your flesh wants you to do. So the first reason Christians fall back into sin is that they don't fill themselves up with the word of God. The psalmist wrote in Psalm 119, Lord, I've hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against God. In fact, did you know that the Bible teaches in the book of Ephesians that the word of God is a supernatural water that is made to wash the church clean. So what the apostle Paul was trying to teach the church at Ephesus was that the word of God has cleansing abilities. And when you fill yourself with it, you can renew or cleanse your mind and it can keep you free from falling into temptation. The number two reason Christians fall back into sin is that they don't spend time in prayer. In fact, Jesus spoke to his disciples in Matthew chapter 26 and he said, watch and pray so that you can overcome temptation when it arrives. When you pray, it empowers you to stay free from temptation. The life of Jesus is a perfect example. The Bible says he never sinned, but you can read many times that he rose up early before the dawn and went out into the wilderness to pray and seek the face of God. When you have that prayer communication relationship with God, it will empower you to stay free from temptation. And the number three reason Christians fall back into sin is that they cultivate wrong relationships. The apostle Paul wrote to the church in Corinth and he said, don't be unequally yoked with an unbeliever. When you create relationships that are unequal, you have one person that's pulling after worldly things and another person that's pulling after godly things. And there's attention, just like there is on the inside of you with your flesh and your spirit, there is in that relationship because you're both pulling in different directions. And when you don't create good relationships or right relationships, what ends up happening is that you fall prey to the company that you keep. The Bible says that bad company corrupts good character. It is so important what relationships you choose to make in your life, not just your friends, but your boyfriend, your girlfriend, and what husband and wife that you choose. It is so important because those people will govern the existence of your life. We don't like to believe that that's true, but you are the sum total of the people you surround yourself with. And when you create good and godly relationships, it is much easier to please the Lord when everybody is pulling in the same direction. Hey guys, thanks for watching again today. I hope the video helped you. If you enjoy the channel, I want you to subscribe. We have new videos coming out every single Tuesday. If you have any thoughts or comments, leave them below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And don't forget until next week, goodness and mercy are following you for the rest of your life. I'll see you next week. Next week.